I'm at Chapel Engineering in Stonehouse in Gloucestershire. This is a really wonderful, impressive facility they've got here. Last year they bought five new XYZ machine tools. I'm going to go and meet with Frank and he's going to tell me why. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. Frank, if I'd have come here 18 months ago, would these XYZ machines have been here? No, they wouldn't have been. Okay, so what was? Uh, we had some uh, Colchester lays and some, a selection of manual mills. So why the change? Uh, we had investment and we thought we'd look for new machines to Im Im upgrade from where we were to. So you went from manual, obviously yeah. these aren't manual machines. Yeah. We'll touch a bit more on what you like about the flexibility of them shortly. But you, you didn't stay with the manual solution. What prompted you to go for something slightly more... Um, you still get the flexibility of doing ones and two parts and manual operation with the CNC side of the XYZ machines. So I think what's also interesting here, Frank, is, and it's important for our viewers to see, this is just one part of your machining facility. You've got two sides to it. This is where you're doing your prototyping and then you've got your production facility as well. So what does the company actually machine and who do you machine for? We machine for oil, our oil field industry. We like the XYZ machines because we can do prototypes, ones off, and small batch work up to tens, fifteens off. And with the facility of having the selection of machines, uh, if a customer requires something urgent, we can usually fit it in and accommodate that. And would that be what happens within your business? Are you very reactive? Do you get lots of calls one day saying, we've got one of these, two of those, or 50 of them? Yes. Is that a we, likely scenario? Yeah, that is a very likely scenario. We, we aim to please and help our customer out if they've got something they need urgently. So for those ones and twos and the, 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 the prototyping type work, that all comes into this cell? Yes. Yeah. So we've got turning machines and we've also got milling, milling machines. machines. So how many people would actually work in this cell? In this cell at the moment, we have one person full time in, in this cell. So, so he would go from one machine to another, to a mill, yes. to a lathe? Yes. Right, OK. So the programming aspect, does he do all that at the machine or is that done offline or do you save your programs he offline? He does predominantly do all the uh, programming on the machine, saves them to the machine, which is backed up onto our server system. So in the future, if we get a similar part or a similar profile we want to do, we can call up previous programs or the same program and machine away. So the, so the programming first hand really is done here at the machine? Yeah. And then once it's complete and the job's done, goes and is housed on the server, can be pulled back at any time? Any time we like. The thing that, that jumps out at me is the diversity of the machines that you've got as well. Yes. With the five machines you've got, just talk me through well, difference. we like the five machines we got because we can go from the very small diameters, medium-sized diameters, to large diameters, and the same on the on the on the mills. We got the flexibility of big to small parts. So that would mean that whatever the size of component and whatever the quantity, one, two, three, you've got complete coverage of it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that is right. So this is an example of parts that you have made in the cell. Yes. Okay. Well, what are they for? Well, they're all for the oil industry. Right, and what sort of materials are they? Well, we use, we, we're machining from mild steel through to aluminium bronze to your 718-625 nickel alloys. OK, and I see uh, this is a great example of both milling and turning. Obviously, yeah. you've, got, you know, you've, got, you've got your milling there as well as um, your, your round components. When it comes to the programming side, what about the differentiation between milling and turning? What we found with the XYZ lathes, it doesn't matter if you've got a, a large machine, medium machine or a small machine, the control is all the same. So if you program on one and then the next job you have, you have to machine a larger component, you can, the control's just the same. And that applies as well to the large and the small mills. So before you bought the XYZ and when you were purchasing them, did you do a lot of homework on research? We went and around research? and we did a lot of homework, a lot of internet homework. Yeah. We went to manufacturing shows yeah. and, and researched them all the ones we liked and we, we, we chose XYZ in the end. And these particular parts here, if you were doing ones and twos off, they'd be done in the XYZ machining cell. Yeah. If you do quantities, they go into your production cell. Into our production cell, yes, they do. 
For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.